Good afternoon, everyone, and happy Friday. For those of you who don't know me, my name is Carol Rosa. I'm the VP of Operations and CIO here at Haywood Healthcare. I'm here to provide you with the COVID-19 update for Friday, October 30th. Let's start with our testing. We've tested nearly 29,264 specimens with 28,169 negatives, 675 positive results, and 107 indeterminate results. Our positive rate is currently 2.3% for Haywood, and the state rate uh, in comparison is 2.6%, so slightly below the state average. And our seven-day average percent positive is 2.83% here at Haywood versus the state rate of 1.8%. So on the seven-day average, we are higher uh, than the state average. Item of note, in the past two weeks of testing, we've seen more positive results than we have between June 1st and August 31st combined. In the past two weeks, we've seen 80 positive results. Between June and August 31st, total, we saw 68. So our numbers are definitely um, increasing. We currently have five COVID patients in-house today at Haywood. Um, and speaking about our community, we have three towns and cities within the Haywood service area that are now listed in the red, which means their average daily case rate over the last 14 days has been greater than eight per 100,000. And those three communities are Athol, Gardner, and Hubbardston. We also have three communities that are in the yellow, and that's Ashburnham, Westminster, and Templeton. And what that means is that they have a case count of four to eight cases in the last 14 days. One of our communities, uh, which is Winchenden, is in the green. And that means that they have less than four cases in the last 14 days. We have 10 communities in the gray, and that means they've resulted in less than five cases over the last 14 days. We've also been doing some employee testing. Um, we have tested 1,253 employees and re have received two positive results, both determined to be community acquired. We have four indeterminate results and those employees are being retested. We'd like to share with you um, a phrase that we're using called see something, say something. As a healthcare provider at Haywood, we're strongly committed to adhering to all safety guidelines such as mask wearing, social distancing, and good hand hygiene. If for some reason you are a visitor or an employee in any of our facilities and you see anything that makes you question the commitment to our safety standards, we ask you to please let us know. Ironically, um, here I am as the CIO bringing you an update and the number one item on the list, unfortunately, happens to be about cybersecurity. There's a malicious email that we have circulating to healthcare facilities, including Haywood. Um, reports indicate that the email is very well constructed. It appears legitimate, and unfortunately, it's not. If you see any emails from an email address that looks something like aspeninfo at hcqis.org with a subject, important COVID-19 reporting information from CMS, please do not open, do not click on the email or anything in the email nor the attachment. If you do receive that message, we encourage you to promptly report it to the help desk at extension 6211. Please do not open this email or any email that you recognize is not a sender you normally communicate with. So we appreciate all of your cooperation on that. I have a few staff reminders for you as well. We are limiting break rooms to one person at a time. I understand this is problematic for many of you. Um, however, there have been recent outbreaks at another local hospital and it's been traced to eating in break rooms because when we eat, we take off our masks. A reminder that access to our dining room has been expanded on our Haywood campus. So we now have available seating from 7 a.m. to 6.30 p.m. daily with lunch now being served from 11 a.m. to 2 p.m. The dining room on our Athol campus is also available 24 seven. So we're trying to give everyone some alternate locations um, to take their breaks so that we're not crowding into break rooms where we could be spreading uh, COVID-19. 
We do want to remind you that eye protection is required for all employees with direct patient contact. This includes our front entrance screeners, our transporters, and patient registration. Please remember to foam in as you enter dining areas as well, and remember to wipe down the area before you use it and after um, you use the, the location. If you have any questions about our COVID-19 policies, I encourage you to visit our intranet where you can find the most updated information. We also have a few community updates for you today. Our Healthy Harvest 5K is this Saturday and Sunday. You notice that we now have a different format um, in 2020. So our annual Healthy Harvest 5K is kicking off tomorrow. If you'd like to register, you can go to www.haywood.org slash HH5K. We have a lot of positive news um, in our healthcare system that we'd like to share with you today. Thanks to the prompt teamwork uh, by Frank Yavorsky, John Nowak, and their teams, our dining room B on the Haywood campus has been cleared out and the cafeteria has been opened up for full use by staff and we've got polycarbonate dividers on some of the tables to help uh, promote a safe environment. This is a great example of the teamwork uh, that we see at Haywood every day, so thank you to those teams. Many of you are familiar with our Communicate with Heart uh, program. We now have that offered virtually, um, and our first training session was completed last week by our employees, Sharon Bono, Mike Ellis, Jamie Ledger, Abby Allen, and Kelly Cachalfi. Training was provided by the Cleveland Clinic, who's currently ranked as one of the nation's top hospitals by US News and World Report. And we want to say thank you to all of our heart trainers. We have a few new uh, staff as well. We'd like to say welcome. Welcome to Caitlin Ball. We're happy to announce that we've hired Caitlin as our new Director of Patient Access and Revenue Cycle Operations. On Monday, November 2nd, Caitlin Ball will join the team as our new director. Caitlin spent several years at the UMass system in the patient access department and will be a great resource to our team here at Haywood. Again, welcome, Caitlin. With respect to budget and reimbursement, we have a new individual working with us, uh, Diane Mayhew. She brings over 25 years experience in healthcare finance. She's held both interim and permanent roles in her tenure. She has experience with hospitals governed by prospective payment, critical access, and rural health center reimbursement systems, and has held the roles of chief financial officer and controller for health systems in New England. Diane has her fellowships in the American College of Healthcare Executives and Healthcare Financial Management Association. Diane is arriving, or has arrived already, and she can be reached at extension 6944 at Haywood. Please join me in welcoming Diane to our team as well. We also have a farewell today. Um, we are celebrating the retirement of Scott Jansons, uh, who is an RRT MBA and our Director of Materials Management who retired after 40 years of service to Haywood Healthcare in our community. We do wish Scott and his family the very best and we will miss you, Scott. Thank you for those many years of service. We've been celebrating Respiratory Care Week uh, as well. We have 18 respiratory therapists that support our Haywood system. They provide inpatient and outpatient treatment, including supporting critical treatment for COVID positive patients. This team of 18 has 375 combined years of experience and provide 24 hour per day hospital-based coverage for patients who need help with their pulmonary diseases. We provide routine therapies like nebulized medications delivery, peak flow measurements, and pulmonary disease management. Additionally, we provide advanced life support therapies through mechanical ventilation, blood gas analysis, and serve as part of the critical care response teams here in the Haywood Health System. We also support the outpatient community with education, pulmonary function testing, and pulmonary rehab programs. All of our respiratory therapists are nationally credentialed and they maintain multiple life support certifications. Here at Haywood, our respiratory therapists support all populations from newborns and geriatrics. And in our email communication, you will see an entire list um, of our wonderful respiratory uh, support uh, therapists. 
Another week uh, we are celebrating is Healthcare Facilities and Engineering Week. This year's theme is Heroes of Healthcare Facilities. Every year in the last week of October, we celebrate the important role that facility team members have in ensuring a safe and efficient environment for all patients, residents, visitors, and staff within the hospitals. And we wanna say thank you uh, to our amazing Haywood Healthcare Facilities team. We also have another congratulations to share, um, and that is to Jody Langlois, who earned her professional certificate as a rural health clinic leader this week while on vacation. Officially, Jody is now a certified rural health clinic professional, and that's also known as a CRHCP. It's a fantastic accomplishment for one of our own who was so instrumental in guiding our Tully Family Medicine practice to become the first rural health clinic in Massachusetts. Congratulations, Jody. We also would like to share some patient experiences uh, within our medical practices. And this week, we're gonna focus on our Ashburnham Family Medicine practice. In that practice is Dr. Alexandra Schultes. And we have a patient that says, Dr. Schultes was excellent, really was compassionate and thorough with how I was feeling. We also have Catherine Whitaker, NP in practicing at Ashburnham Family Medicine. And a patient said, I was very pleased with the care and concern I received. I was quite upset and I had many issues that needed to be addressed and she never rushed me. She was very kind and made me feel at ease, many thanks. Also in our Ashburnham Family Medicine practice is Haley Bogdasarian, PA. Our patient says, I called to be seen for a breathing issue I have. I realized that I needed to mention recent physical changes. Haley took care of all three, explained everything to me, and set me up with a new inhaler. Ordered blood work I needed and adjusted HBP medicine. We worked together on these issues and I am happy with what was done. I do have a follow-up visit with her, and I am hoping things will have improved greatly. Thank you, Haley. Also in our Ashburnham Family Medicine practice is our own Helen Henehan, our Chief Medical Officer, and MD. She is fantastic and very personable, but highly knowledgeable with a fun, easygoing personality. I always leave her office feeling much better, even when I'm sick. So thank you to Helen um, and all of our providers at Ashburnham Family Medicine. You are appreciated by our patients. If you are interested in switching to a Haywood Healthcare provider, a list of providers accepting new patients and their contact information will be provided in the email that will be sent out. We'd also like to leave you with a couple of community reminders. It's very important that we keep on schedule with all vaccinations. During the first wave of our pandemic, vaccination rates dropped significantly. Please, please continue to vaccinate. Vaccinations are a very important preventative measure to keep you and your family well. So let's make sure we're uh, uh, all following up uh, on our vaccines. As a reminder, if you are not feeling well, don't avoid contacting your provider. Please reach out. We do have telehealth visits available and they can re be requested of your PCP. We do continue to sanitize our hospital and our medical practice and we maintain the highest standards of cleanliness. We are restricting visitation to limit foot traffic throughout the hospital for the protection and safety of our patients and our staff. As you can see, we have a wonderful health system and we encourage you, uh, if you are looking for employment, we have several openings available in both clinical and non-clinical areas. Please visit our website, www.haywood.org careers, if you're interested in learning more about working for our Haywood Healthcare family. We had a lot of updates today. I thank you for your time. Remember to wear your mask, wash your hands, stay socially distant, and please be kind. Thank you and have a wonderful weekend.